who this course is for. A course like this is designed in order to enable people to have a more precise idea of what Dzogchen terminology means because misunderstanding Dzogchen terminology can actually lead you away from liberation. Well, we have this uh, principle in Tibetan Buddhism called Sik Dun, meanings and words. And all there's a lot of argument in Tibetan Buddhism about how meanings and words can't necessarily match up. In Dzogchen, it's very important that meanings and words actually match each other. One of the things I want to say is, is that this presentation may sound intellectual, and, and it is, but the purpose of studying things is not to have more concepts. The purpose of studying things is to have less concepts. We can understand this from the point of view in Dzogchen teaching specifically when we talk about the basis. When we don't understand and we don't recognize the basis, our primordial state for being what it is, that misunderstanding itself is what generates samsara, and samsara is generated out of concepts. So, one way to eliminate concepts is to actually understand what the basis is, learn how to recognize it, and then once we've recognized it, then hopefully we will not be prey to misconceptions anymore. I chose these 10 terms because these are the 10 most important terms that we have in Dzogchen. And so it's really important that they're understood correctly and that they're understood on the basis of the commentarial tradition that supports them. One of the nice things about early Dzogchen commentaries is that they're very precise about how they define terms. They have this term ngetsik, which sometimes is translated as etymology, but in this case can really be more defined as a, in terms of a definition. I've chosen material uh, <clears throat> which specifically addresses uh, how these terminologies are understood in terms of the entity or the essence which is being um, described what the netzik or the definition of that term is, and then the divisions related to that term. My hope for people who are taking this course is that what they will take away from this course is a more solid understanding of the meaning of Dzogchen teachings. And that, of course, if there are already somebody who's been practicing Dzogchen for a while and maybe had some doubts and wasn't very clear about their own state of pristine consciousness, their own recognition of Rikpa and so on and so forth, that hopefully this course will aid them in, in having that understanding. And then for those people who are taking this course out of a interest in Dzogchen, but haven't had much of an opportunity to study with Dzogchen teachers, then at least they'll have a better conceptual understanding of the main critical points of Dzogchen teachings. That's really what I hope to get out of this course. My name is Acharya Malcolm Smith, inviting you to take my new Wisdom Academy course, Dzogchen, 10 Key Terms. <laughs>